you guys remember that time when Shane Dawson did that Jake Paul series and everybody freaked out because Shane Dawson and Katie Morton were talking about sociopaths. Oh boy, was that crazy. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And all of you loyal Rewired Soldiers out there, you're looking around and you're like, whoa, Chris, that background looks different. Well, I'm in a hotel room because I am actually in Anaheim, California, here at VidCon, and it's been so cool. I'm probably gonna do some recap videos and stuff. There's been some really awesome panels, a bunch of awesome creators. I saw panels today with like Katie Morton, with Jarvis Johnson, uh, Dan from the Aspie World, uh, all sorts of cool people, so I might do some recap videos on that. I've also met some really awesome fans of the channel. I also got to meet Nerd City, the dude who put my crazy Shane Dawson reaction in his video about Jake Paul. Um, but yeah, it's been really cool. I also got to meet the guy from Dead Meat. My son absolutely loves that channel. Like, that channel got my son into horror movies. But anyways, if you're at VidCon, find me, come say hi, let's chat. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, Tana Mojo, I guess she's gonna be here at VidCon too. But um, I saw they uploaded this video today about them taking the sociopath test. And I remember when Tana was doing the mukbang, mukbang, how do you say that? With Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams and Morgan Adams and everything like that. And I think they were like talking about it. But anyways, they finally released the video where Tana Mojo and Jake Paul take the sociopath test. So you can check out that video down below if you want to check that out. I just wanted to take a couple topics from that video and discuss them with all of you beautiful people. So, those of you who don't know me, I am not a licensed therapist, I am not a licensed psychologist. I do have experience working in the mental health field. I'm currently working on my certified alcohol and drug counselor licensing, and everything like that. But also, disclaimer, I don't know Tana, I don't know Jake, anything like that, all right? But anyways, those of you who have been around for a while, don't worry, I'm not gonna diagnose anybody in this video. I actually do wanna talk about diagnoses. So anyways, one of the reasons I wanna make this video because there is a, a topic that we really need to discuss, all right? And that is self-diagnosis, or even looking up symptoms online. So like, since like the dawn of the internet and like searching and Googling and everything like that, or WebMD, this has been the bane of people's existences, right? Like I get it, like I used to be so anxious and obsessive that when I was experiencing something, I would look online for hours and hours and hours. And if you have anxiety and you get obsessive, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all right? If you've done this in the past, let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, I just wanna talk about this stuff, like always see a doctor. Like I said, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist. Although I talk about mental health on this channel, like something I'm always trying to get all of you to do is if you have the resources, go get help, all right? If you have health insurance, if you have the money, whatever it is, go get help. Go talk to a doctor, go talk to a therapist, all right? But looking up this stuff online is never a good idea. It's especially, it's not good if you're trying to get like an actual answer. So here's, here's my suggestion, just from my personal experience, my personal suggestions. If you're gonna take any of these tests online, like when, when you see a doctor, when you see a therapist, a lot of them do have like kind of a checklist that they go through to see if you have certain symptoms that match up with a specific diagnosable disorder, all right? And a lot of that information they just toss online. But there's so many different variables, okay? So what I recommend, is like, especially if you're watching, like here's the scenario I imagine, all right? You're on YouTube and you're looking stuff up, right? Maybe you see this sociopath test from Tana Mojo and Jake Paul, right? Or maybe you're looking up like, do I have depression or do I have this or do I have that, right? Like with my videos, like I hope, like here's a little how to use the rewired soul if I talk about mental health subjects. Like if I talk about mental health subjects, like, I want you to see, like, does this sound familiar? Like, can you relate to that? Because if so, go see a professional, okay? Like, never try to diagnose yourself, never try to diagnose anybody else, anything like that, all right? But, like, if, if you can relate to that, like, I've had people 
like I used to make a lot of videos um, just about like the different symptoms like I would talk about um, you know symptoms from the diagnostic and statistical manual about different disorders and everything like that and like a lot of people would just stumble across them you know because maybe they heard about it I'm not sure how they found them right or what sparked their interest but like oh wow it sounds like I might have this like another great example is I did a video about maladaptive uh, daydreaming not that well hmm, last year and a lot of people stumbled across it like oh my god I think I have this right so like if you think you have something make sure you set up an appointment like go talk to somebody okay because here's here's one of the biggest reasons why that is like so many different mental illnesses especially have like overlapping symptoms all right so for example if you have PTSD you also have anxiety people with anxiety can also have depression um, some people might experience you know manic, manic episodes and they might think they have bipolar disorder but it could be some other type of mood disorder you see what I mean so when you work with a like a psychiatrist a psychologist whoever it is you can get more of an accurate diagnosis because if you're not getting an accurate diagnosis, then you're not gonna be able to treat the right thing, all right? Like the way I usually explain it is, you're, you're, you're gonna have a problem treating your arm if you have a broken leg. You see what I mean? Like, so you wanna make sure that you get an accurate diagnosis, all right? So the second thing I wanna talk about, I am reading this amazing book right now, the most amazing book. I love it so much. It's called In Invisible Influence, okay? If you're into psychology, if you're into um, behavior, like behavioral sciences and stuff like that, you have to get this book, all right? Like it was recommended to me by a friend, but anyways, anyways, I'm like three chapters in. I've been listening. I listened to it on my drive out here to LA, and I've been listening to it like you know when I'm like to going to and from VidCon and everything like that. But anyways, like check it out, check it out. Like I'm gonna do so many videos about this book because it explains perfectly like mob mentality and why we choose the things that we choose and everything like that. But anyways, there there's some specific studies in here that they've talked about, and I just thought it was funny because Tana Mojo and Jake Paul were taking this test together, okay? And here's the thing, like something this book talks about quite a bit is your answers are not going to be accurate, right? And here's the thing, like one of the examples it gives in there was there was a study they did where um, these like these psychologists who were doing a study, they dressed up as waiters and they went to this like local brewery, right? And they went to different people and had them, you know, pick what beer they wanted. And they had like six different beers, all right? And what they found was, because with one group, they had the people say it out loud. And what they found was many of the people who picked a certain beer were really dissatisfied with that beer. But with the other group, what they had them do was write down on a piece of paper what beer they wanted, right? And they saw their satisfaction went way up. And basically what they were trying to find out was like, how does social influence like play into the decisions that we make? So what they found was with those beers, right? Like people picked a beer not even wanting that specific beer or not even liking that type of beer because other people at the table were ordering it, all right? Like they even talked about like um, another test, another study that they did where they had somebody come in and you had to match a line, right? You had a line over here and then you had options A, B, and C, all right? And you had to match the line, which one is the same length, right? And the answer was C. But what the person answering that question didn't know was that the other five people in that room were actors, okay? So even though this person knew that the answer was C, all of the actors said B. All right, so even when a person knows the correct answer on a test, if everybody else is saying something different, they're going to pick the wrong answer, right? Like, isn't that crazy? Like, I think this is so important. Like, uh, my friend who recommended this book, Invisible Influence, to me, I was like, yo, we gotta get everybody to read this book. Like, there is so much in there, and it's something that I'm really fascinated with, um, not only as like somebody um, you know who does YouTube, but just as somebody who like is really interested in seeing why people do the things they do, especially how like 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 crowd psychology works. Like obviously, cancel culture is this huge thing, and just seeing how people are swayed in different directions. Because what we start to see, especially when people 
um, are in a group, like they lose they lose their own, you know, freedom of choice, right? They they stop making their own choices. They start choosing what the herd is choosing, right? So there's so much interesting stuff and I have like 50 million video ideas and stuff like that. But anyways, anyways, the takeaways from this video is this. Take tests by yourself, all right? Get accurate answers. Second off, use any of these online tests as like just, just getting your wheels turned, all right? Make sure you see a professional to get an official diagnosis, all right? Never forget that, okay? But anyways, that's all I got from for this video. Again, I'm at VidCon. I might do some more videos while I'm out here. If you're at VidCon, come say hi. It absolutely makes my day, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get access to some other perks and benefits and stuff like that, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.